views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. Welcome to Modern Odyssey on Bronx, Net and Beyond. I'm Dr. Despina Fentuli. Today we're going to talk about fine arts and culture. We have a special guest, the president of the UNESCO, Pierce Islands Club, and the CEO and president of International Action Art, who came all the way from Greece to present a fine arts exhibition in Manhattan, New York. Mr. President, welcome to our show. Thank you so much. Thank so, you for your hospitality here. Thank you for accepting our invitation to join us today. Uh, so please tell us more about uh, the fine arts exhibition you presented mm. recently uh, in Manhattan. It was something like a miracle. We, in a few days, we present more than 300 uh, artists all over the world, and excellent uh, workshops, and uh, I'm very happy because uh, all artists are very, uh, success, very happy and very successful, all this uh, event. And, um, you know, the difficulties of uh, someone who comes the first day and the second day, we have to organize and to exhibit all this uh, artwork. But a lot of people pass, and uh, even the first day was running, raining, but everything is okay and it was perfect amazing exhibition congratulations <laughs> thank you uh, it's thank great so to much. give the opportunity to young artists but also to accomplished artists to yes. showcase their work to a different and international actually audience yes it was uh, very interesting for all these artists and this is the reason that uh, so much participate so many so many artists uh, first of all, because they believe that uh, New York and Manhattan is the capital of the world and the center of interesting for artists. So everybody wanted to uh, participate. And if we have very more biggest uh, gallery, it was possible to have 1,000 participants. And, uh, you know, this, uh, because of the social media, uh, all the Facebook, Instagram, is, uh, or this, the last days is full of the uh, presentation of all these artists. Okay. 300 artists, they have uh, Facebook, they have Instagram, and uh, all this uh, they present, the artwork, and imagine it was like a, a storm, unbelievable in this uh, very big success. So please tell us more, what has, first of all, for those who don't know, what does UNESCO mean? What does it stand for? UNESCO is a, one organization, worldwide organization, uh, that uh, born in the, uh, after the Second World, and uh, all the countries try to organize uh, a culture of peace after the bad experience of the, the Second World. And they create this UNESCO in, the, in Japan before 17 uh, years, and uh, before, before seven, five years, uh, seven, 75 seven, years, 75 years in, uh, in Japan. And also before 75 years, created the first GLAB UNESCO. Uh, GLAB UNESCO is a uh, volunteers of UNESCO. Is, uh, our movement is a... Uh, created by volunteers. Mm -hmm. uh, there are two parts of UNESCO. Is the UNESCO with uh, members of the countries, uh, ministers, uh, diplomats, and the volunteers. We are, uh, I think, the most strong uh, m part of UNESCO, the more active, because we are the social uh, people, the, the society. We represent the society in UNESCO. And this gives us power and gives us a future. 
So what kind of activities are you doing in the context of UNESCO organization? Uh, we're working for culture, for environment, for education, for equality, uh, against poverty recently, uh, because it's very, very important uh, this period of after crisis, after um, uh, COVID, to help to support the families and the members. What's the biggest achievement uh, you feel that you have served so far? Look, uh, it's, uh, for me, uh, it's both are very, very important, culture and uh, the, uh, solidarity. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, one and the other together make, give uh, opportunities for people to change life, to create a better future for the families, for the children. And uh, we are working very strong on this, especially the last period. Uh, we had the opportunity to create, uh, during the period of COVID, a very beautiful building, 2,500 square meters in Athens. And uh, I think it's the best, the most uh, comfortable, the most beautiful building in Europe. And uh, it mentioned that uh, it created without even a Euro government money. And this, uh, I'm very proud about this. How did you manage to support uh, such uh, a great uh, achievement? First of all, it was the scenario, the idea. We create a building mm -hmm. that is possible to homeless people, artists and uh, students to find a house. So we have in this house six floors and there's um, in the first floor we have a kitchen, high quality and two restaurants. The second floor we have one hostel, 65 beds. The second floor, the third floor, another uh, hostel, 65 beds. Over there is, they have uh, showers, they have a place for two, uh, laundry for the how, for the dresses. In the fourth floor we have uh, the offices, doctor office, pharmacy, psychologists, uh, social workers, offices, and uh, also social grocery. And in the... So you do outdoors as well, outdoor activities, huh? social grocery. Yes, and on, on the five floor, we have an education center with a six uh, classroom, and it's possible to have uh, more than 600 students in this uh, uh, school. And in the sixth floor, we have a culture center, very big, 400 uh, square meters, with all these equipments for conferences, for music nights, for traditional dances, uh, for reception, everything. And in the roof garden, we have a roof garden, social roof garden cafe, with amazing view, it's possible to see Acropolis, all the area of Athens. Um, we have um, uh, also opportunity to offer food for, for families, for 200 families uh, inside the building. And uh, other 200 families, they are, coming, they are coming and take packages for home. Also, we offer pharmacy for 1,000 people. In Piraeus? In Piraeus and around, because you know, homeless and all these people, uh, they have no address. Can they also live inside the building? Yes, uh, we have uh, about, uh, in, uh, in Piraeus, we have 130 yeah. uh, homeless who are living inside and they're eating inside, educated inside, because, you know, our target is not to give a food or a place, a bed for to sleep, just to organize their life, mm -hmm. educated, for to change life and to return to normal life. And this is our target, the main target. So with this way, uh, these people, they need uh, food, but culture at the same time. And also in the sex floor, we are going, we organize every, every week, uh, seminars, traditional music, dances, uh, Who can everybody, everybody. In this. And also everybody. the students, you said there are many students. Are there mm. students from schools or are they like private lessons? It's, it's private lessons. It's, uh, the first uh, we, we use uh, 
uh, photo support, uh, like uh, to to give uh, opportunity to to learn languages, foreign languages like uh, English, um, French, uh, Chinese, uh, uh, Turkish, uh, f uh, uh, Russian, many, every everything, many languages. Many languages. And at the same time, uh, we have we give uh, lessons for art, for Greek languages, and for history of of Greek history. And, Do you uh, emphasize in a certain period of time? It's just of it's just uh, programs for to support to find quickly job, like oh. in tourist, uh, in hotels, like uh, something like that. And also, we had organized a. a a bank for sponsors and uh, the same ba information bank for sponsors we use for to find job for the homeless. It's, uh, it's very important because we collaborate with a company to give us uh, products and also we ask to give us a working place for our people, for our homeless. So the companies are... Uh supporting your causes, yes, the, yes. the ones that you cooperate yes. with, and then you yes. find people, those who want yes. some so, support yes. through the organization you present, they can also find a job, perhaps, at some For point. For sure, because yeah. I told you, if we stay only giving food and bed, we don't do anything. This is the basic we thing, make, but we, we make We put these people mm -hmm. through permanent poverty. So the first, the main goals and the main target is to organize a better future, to give the opportunity to return in normal life, to rent a house, to make a family. Otherwise, we don't do anything. Uh, so we have people who need, uh, in the first period, they need uh, to support the, the, the heart, the soul and then uh, to try to give education. And uh, after this, the, the, the main step is to give job. Do the people who are supported from you come back and see you when they have accomplished like, yes. At, up yes. to a certain point of their Unfortunately, lives? Unfortunately, we have two options. The, we have uh, sponsors that they, uh, after a period, return like homeless. This is the tragedy of the period. This and is because, also, let's explain that the situation yes, the previous yes. years in Greece was not very well, financially speaking. Not before and now and uh, now during because of the, the COVID, COVID. Yes, and because of the energy programs, problems, and uh, I don't see very good future. With energy problems, you mean because of the area, of the Mediterranean war, area, yes, and the, the Ukraine war. war has an impact on people's yes. lives in Europe. Direct, actually. You know, it's, Greece is a, a main uh, country from, for tourists. Yeah. So it's, it's a very big problem, but we have to solve this, uh, working with people. And also we have another option, that there are some homeless, that they return a job, and after they return like sponsors. That's what I was And this is the hope, here. give yeah. us hope for to continue our job. Uh, they give back to yes. the organization that helps so, them, the, the main, to the people, actually. Uh, this Glabunas Kopiraus and Island create a new organization with our experience, and this is a international action art. I'm president and CEO and founder of this organization, and we have now 57 countries all over the world departments, and the headquarters are in Piraus, in Athens, in Greece. Uh, this uh, organization uh, has the uh, same uh, target with the United Nations, so the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. And we are working on this very hard. The first uh, target is uh, no poverty. The second is zero hunger, equality, education. All, all these uh, uh, targets, uh, I think we have uh, very, very big success in the most of them. And we try, we continue to try. Mm -hmm. And the most important is that we have a lot of people, volunteers, because all this working with volunteers, and, and this is the most important, because uh, volunteers do not, not give job, give also soul. Of course, they give their time, their yes. talents. Uh... Yes, we give opportunity to young people, to young artists, 
we are working, we uh, have uh, a lot of conferences, uh, festivals, book presentations, uh, program for youth. So educational, Every year, cultural programs. Yes. Every and year and also is an open invitation for young people, for young students uh, from this uh, college. Every year we organize a youth camp in La Copetra Jaias and it's possible to offer uh, accommodation to 1,000 uh, students during the period of uh, summer. And every, every group is possible to stay in this youth camp 15 days. And at the same time, they have vacation, cultural programs. It's possible to visit all the world heritage of UNESCO, that cultural heritage that belongs in Greece. That is, They're protected by UNESCO. Yes. Also, they have uh, uh, education programs and vacations. Of course. So it's so a combination of good It's things. the most beautiful uh, country, Greece, of the world. I'm proud about this. Small country, but um, very, very big power in culture. It's a synonym Greek, of um, yes, Greek, culture. Greek, it's, uh, and uh, Greek, it's uh, the the country of um, high power uh, country uh, of culture. Other countries are in economic in weapons, but Greece is the is the cunt, the country of culture. And, uh, education. and I'm very happy because uh, this, uh, this uh, program on Bronx uh, Net gives us opportunity and uh, I heard uh, a lot of uh, time that promote uh, Greek culture, Greek uh, people and uh, I'm very happy and, um, to be here in this uh, so, so... Uh, good channel that for, for Greece, for Greek people, for Greek history. And um, I want, uh, in case, uh, an, an opportunity on this uh, presentation here, to give honor to Michael, that it's the, 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 the director, the strong man on this uh, channel, and also to you, Dr. Despina Afeduli, because you are the, 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 the voice of Greece uh, here in uh, in uh, in the center of planet in uh, New York in the United States. Thank you so much. That's a very great honor. Um, I think I should call Michael Michael Max Novi, uh, executive uh, director of Bronx Net, to join us here in the studio. It's an honor for me to give honor to you to these beautiful stars that create. Uh, uh, Michael, so, welcome. So great support for my country. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure it's to very, have you here. It's very, very important, special, special this period of crisis. For to have voices like yours, stars like yours, promoting my country, my culture, is very, very important. We need it. We need you. We need Michael. We need uh, Despina. And we need you for serving such uh, a beautiful cause uh, to so many people. So, and arts, of course. This is a word of, from both, from UNESCO Club and from International Action Art. Uh, the Club for UNESCO Piraucean Island and uh, International Action Art proudly presents 2022 Executive Director Award of Excellency the Exceptional Executive Director, Mr. Michael Max Knob, the modern Odyssey of BronxNet. The judges recognize the remarkable contribution towards embracing the reporting of international human rights stories to diverse communities and the Hellenic culture to an international audience. June 1st, 20, 2022, mm -hmm. the general president of CEO uh, of the National Action Art, president of Glab UNESCO, Piraucean Island, member of executive board of World Federation for Glabs and uh, Association, Ioannis Maronitis. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ioannis. President Congratulations. Maronitis. Thank you so much. You are a star and uh, <laughs> I believe on you. And also, at the, with this opportunity, I want to invite you in Greece, 
in our first meeting of all the leaders of international action art in Halkida uh, Island. It's a beautiful area and uh, it's possible to organize over there uh, a lot of events. And at the same time, we, uh, uh, it's possible Despina to organize a memorandum of collaboration for to sign in front of all the world uh, leaders. It is an honor to welcome you, President Maronitis, to BronxNet, the multimedia public service network of the people of the Bronx in the Bronx, one of the most diverse places in the world, oh. to celebrate uh, culture, to promote understanding and empathy, and a global dialogue around harmony. Uh, we look forward to building on our partnership, and we really thank you uh, for joining us and you know, continuing the global dialogue. But for future partnership, we look forward to that yasis. We are stronger together. <laughs> and and um, you know, this is just the beginning, and it's auspicious that you join us today at the state-of-the-art BronxNet studios in our network operations at Lehman College the campus is the site of the first United Nations General Assembly. After World War II, the world came together here in the Bronx on this campus to put the pieces back, to put the world back together uh, in 1946. And um, there is a tradition of this dialogue and harmony and promotion of peace, understanding and empathy uh, and a global harmony in our times of crisis. So we look forward to building with you and promoting positive outcomes and transformation. So thank you on behalf of the people of the Bronx and thank perhaps you. of our great BronxNet team. Thank you so much. And, and I promise you very beautiful uh, days in, in Greece. <laughs> and uh, also uh, ex uh, we work, but also we have the opportunity to have vacation in Greece. And you know it's beautiful. Nuestro studios es sus studios. These studios are your studios. <laughs> thank you. Thanks thank so you. Much. And I want to notice that uh, uh, we have... Uh, Today it was the first club created in Japan, 75 years before. We UNESCO, have been, the first club? Yes, wow. we have the anniversary of uh, the first club. But I'm very proud to say that uh, we are the biggest, the small country has now the biggest club in the world, wow. the club UNESCO Piraus in Ireland, wow. with 108 fully workers wow. and 3,000 uh, members. Thank so, you for the great work you do. You see, sometimes uh, it's possible the passion of people is supposed to create miracles. It's uh, like a small miracle. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really special to see that, look, we can do things in our community locally mm -hmm. and then we can connect globally. And that's really at the heart and mission of Modern Odyssey on BronxNet with Dr. Daspina Afantuli. And now is the time for our new star, this beautiful lady from yeah. Greece. That oh, thank uh, you so much. give uh, here give us the opportunity here to present uh, proudly our country. So let me to announce uh, in the National Action Art Club UNESCO Piraus Award, the Club for UNESCO of Piraus and Island and the National Action Art proudly present 2022 Excellency in uh, the National Jour Journalist Award. To extraordinary woman journalist Dr. Despina Feduli for modern Odyssey on Broxnet. The judges recognize the outstanding dedication to ethics and universal human values by raising awareness of underreported international human rights stories that matter to an international audience. The General President and CEO of the National Action Art, President of Club UNESCO Piraus in Ireland, Member of Executive Board of the World Federation for UNESCO Clubs and Association, Ioannis Maronitis, June 1st, 2022. Thank you so much. I felt so emotional. I appreciate it. Come with us. Um, Come with us. Mm -hmm. So thank you, thank you so much, and for honoring our program. I'd like to thank Michael for believing in this vision to do something different. That uh, I think that speaks. I hope it speaks to, in the heart of all people, because uh, the stories are more or less common, <coughs> but it's important to give voice to people who don't have it and present stories uh, that um, matter to an international audience 
And um, this is a unique way perhaps to give voice to local people internationally. And Bronxnet serves this cause and I'm so happy to be part of this uh, amazing uh, team that works hard for excellence. And I want to thank all the team, all the members who support this uh, program, Modern Odyssey. We have a great BronxNet team and producer community and uh, public at BronxNet. And BronxNet's your open work in the Bronx, from the Bronx to the world. Thank you, Dr. Afantouli. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you, you, President Mar Marinaitis. Thank you. This was a great surprise to us. Uh, we hope you enjoy Modern Odyssey episodes. And uh, until next time, yes, us. The Bronx, Bronx Strong. Strong.